the one of the highest deck of the ship, uh, which is called as monkey deck. So here are parties, VIP parties, and कुछ भी VIP functions होता है, तो ही ये deck open होता है. यहाँ पे एक bar भी है, like which is called as Agwad bar, where all types of liquors are available. So capacity of this deck is around 80, 80 to 90, not more than that. So this is the highest deck on this ship. So let's see the bar. So this is the Agwad bar. One of the bar which is allocated at the highest deck of the ship. Uh, like this, we are having five bars in our ship and three restaurants. Only straight drinks. Only we get only straight drinks in this bars. Only straight drinks. Not all types of uh, alcohols. So this is the MEA system, which is called as Marine Evacuation Systems. ये अभी-अभी Marines के industry में आया like safety regarding. So basically होता ही है जब कोई incident होता है, if any incident happens on the ship, so mustard station करके एक जगह होती है ship में, वहाँ पे सारे इकट्ठा होते हैं, उसके ऊपर ही ये MEA system allocate किया जाता है. Just इसको simply इस इस pin को खींचना होता है, MEA नीचे जाएगा. Then after going down, pressure के वजह से वो खुलेगा and after it get opens, एक house जैसा shape बनाएगा ये, house जैसा shape बनाएगा जिसके अंदर around 300 sorry 150 के capacity के लोग अंदर जा सकते हैं. So this is a shoot. Shoot basically ऐसा होता है कि एक ladder create करता है नीचे. जब ये MES नीचे जाता है, house type structure बनाता है, ये एक ladder create करता है. ये ladder के वजह से जो passengers होते हैं slide करके MES के अंदर चले जाते हैं, so that is the role of this ladder. So this is a mustard station. So if any emergency happens, so on every deck there is one strip is there, indication is there, one arrow is there which direct you to the mustard stations only. If you are on E deck also, the lowest deck of the ship also, there is also one strip that will direct you to the mustard station only. So there is a life jacket. Uh, this is the life jacket. So if guests here pe aate, koi passengers here pe aate in emergency, the, unko ye pehna zaruri hota hai. So capacity of this one mustard station is uh, 350. Total capacity of the ship is 350 uh, and uh, one master station capacity is 350. So it is enough. Like here be 350, here be 350. So this uh, ship has safety ko leke koi bhi issues nahi. So now we are on a A deck. On A deck there is one bar which is called as gas bar. The meaning of the gas is roaring of the uh, sh sea. Uh, जब ship sail होता है front direction में जाता है, तो पानी को काटते हुए जाता है. So जो sound create होता है, that is known as gas. Like आप अभी सुनते ही होगे, सर सर करके आवाज आ रहा है. So that sound is known as gas. So उसके ऊपर bar का नाम रखा गया है gas bar. So यहाँ पे आपको सिर्फ 
लाइट ड्रिंक्स ही मिलेंगे लाइक वाइन्स आपको हार्ड लिकर्स नहीं मिलेंगे सिंगल माल्स एल्कोहल ही यहाँ पे सर्व होते हैं This is the heli deck, uh, which is also called as a famous Titanic point. Like यहाँ पे भी DJ parties organized की जाती है. Capacity of this uh, deck is same around 75 to 80. So it is a very like awesome place in night. Uh, you can feel the fresh airs. Uh, no polluted air is here. Ambience. So you can enjoy here. Again, we are on a A deck, but on a aft side. Aft side, there is uh, another restaurant uh, which is called as Sea Breeze. This is not a fine dine or like uh, big restaurants. This is this restaurant is famous only for starters, ice creams, and uh, Indian menus like uh, pani puris, popcorns, charts, Indian charts. वो आप वो सब आपको यहाँ पे मिल जाएगा सर. So this is a small uh, restaurant only for starters. So this is the half of the restaurants but the another half is outside and So this is the half another half of the restaurant so yahan pe aapko popcorns pani puri like indian menus aapko yahan pe mil jayega So want to like to taste pani puri pani yeah de de nahi pani puri dena bana ke This is the pool area which is called as पूल डेक एंड ऑल्सो इन्फिनिटी पूल फंक्शन होते हैं पार्टीज होती है डी जे होता है देन एवरी डे वाइल सेलिंग सेवन टू टेन यहाँ पे लाइव शो होता है एंड वन मो बार इज देर गोफ बार वेर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ लिकर इज सर्व ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ लिकर इज सर्व लेट मी शो यू सर सो दिस इज दिस इज अ गोफ बार Uh, the meaning of the gop is uh, different types of knots you can see that side uh, there are the different types of knots the different types of knot is known as gop so this is our bar team which runs this bar so all types of uh, liquor is served here this is the pool uh, we call this infinity pool infinity pool so uh, it is open till 12 in the mid and in morning 7 to 9 so it is accessible for everyone like kids and adults everyone so so safety precautions we take like? yeah safety like uh, we are having uh, lifeguard also okay. we are having two lifeguards every day uh, at the pool side सो सो दिस इज़ अ गैंग वे राइट नाउ ये तो बंद है बट जब शिप रुका होता है चेक इन यहाँ से ही होता है गेस्ट यहाँ से ही एंटर होते हैं फिर उनको इन इस पोर्ट्रेट के बारे में समझा जाता है द रीज़न बिहाइंड नेम अंग्रिया इज दिस पोर्ट्रेट द पर्सन यू कैन सी इज मिस्टर आंग्रे कोना जी आंग्रे सो ही वॉज द एडमायरल ही इज़ ऑल्सो नोन एज समुद्रतला शिवाजी तो बेसिकली जितने भी ब्रिटिशर्स के शिप आते थे समंदर से उनसे ये वॉर करके उनको फिर से वापस भगा देते सो यू कैन हैव अ लुक ये ऑल्सो ये स्मॉल म्यूजियम ऑल्सो द द वेपन्स विच व यूज बाय कोनाजी आंग्रे अ कैप्ट हियर लाइक स्वाड्स एंड दिस इज नोन एज खंजर ऑफ दैट टाइम ऑल्सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अडित्ता अडित्ता विच विच वो यूज टू ब्रेक द सुपारीज सुपारीज तो ये जो नीचे वाला है वो तो आप अभी अभी के जनरेशन में भी दिखता है बट जो ऊपर वाला है वॉज ऑफ दैट टाइम दिस इज द मोसे गार्ड सर जब शिप जापान से आया था 
as uh, this ship is a second hand ship uh, before it was uh, sailing in uh, japan for 20 years the name of the ship was ogasa वहाँ पे कार्गो प्लस पैसेंजर शिप था फिर आफ्टर 2007 2017 में इसको मुंबई लाया गया पूरा मॉडिफिकेशन के बाद इसे एक प्रॉपर क्रूज बनाया गया पैसेंजर शिप बनाया गया सारी चीजें चेंजेस की एक्सेप्ट दिस आर्ट ये जापान से ही है जापान से जब शिप लाया था तो शिप के साथ ही था ये ओरिजिन ऑफ द शिप है ये दिस इज कॉल्ड एज मोसेक आर्ट सर ये सालों साल तक खराब नहीं होता है सर ऐसे ही रहता है तो दिस इज द साइन ऑफ अवर शिप Uh, come on, sir. You can rank it, sir. Yeah, have it, have it, have it. So this is the sign of our ship. Uh, this side, uh, this is the reception area, which is uh, like if you want any information, this is open 24/7. So here is a Coral Reef restaurant. This restaurant is only for buffet dinner. So capacity of the restaurant is 120. So have a look sir. So यहाँ पे सिर्फ high tea and रात का buffet dinner ही serve होता है Like guest जब check in होता है तो guest को यहाँ पे uh, allocate करके उनको high tea serve किया जाता है साथ ही में एक safety video भी play किया uh, play करते हैं Like ये this is this is a safety video sir. So now we are on a sea deck. On this side, uh, one library is there, which is known as Norton Crosses. So. so this is the library, which is called it uh, Norton Crosses. Also a kids zone. Like you can spend some time with the children play, playing carrom and all. This is the uh, chairs of a Japanese style. So they usually usually like to sit on their knees. Chairs without legs. This is a sitting area, like, uh, and this is a drinking water tank. Like this water, this uh, boiler tank is connected to RO system. सो so, अगर आपका वाटर खत्म होता है या फिर कुछ होता है यहाँ से रिफिल कर सकते हो दिस इज अ हॉट वाटर टैंक एंड दिस इज अ नॉर्मल रूम टेम्परेचर वाटर या एंड वन मोर थिंग दिस दिस ऑल फोटोग्राफ्स आर टेकन बाय वन ऑफ अवर डायरेक्टर्स दिस ऑल आर ओरिजिनल फोटोग्राफ्स So this is the one of the uh, category. This is the premium premium category. Couple room with washroom, attached washroom, and potholes window. Like this, we are having eight categories. So this is one of the eight one. these day only uh, one more category is there a uh, couple room with attached washroom but uh, without window This is the blue marine fish, sir. The blue marine fish. 
तो यूजुअली आपको देखने मिलेगा कोस्टल रीजन में ही दिखेगा आपको ये ब्लू मरेन फिश नाउ कमिंग टूवर्ड्स पॉड्स विच इज़ ऑन अ डी डेक द पॉड मीन्स इट इज़ अ कैटेगरी लाइक द रूम्स आर लाइक जापानी स्टाइल्स ओनली वन बॉक्स विल बी देर एंड वन स्लाइडिंग डो इज देर सो है लुक्स दिस आर दी पॉड कैटेगरीज ऑल्सो नोन एज जापानीज पॉड्स दिस इज दन ऑफ द चीपेस्ट कैटेगरी द प्राइज रेंज इज फ्रॉम सिक्स थाउजेंड सिक्स थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड सो दिस इज फॉर कपल सो टू पर्सन कैन अलोकेट इन दिस रूम This is also an uh, original pic which was taken by one of our director director's friend Now we are going to a E deck uh, this deck is whole under water uh, the category which uh, we are having on this deck is couple room and family room so couple rooms are having beds with common washroom but no windows and family rooms are having same uh, king size bed attached washroom and uh, one bunk bed for kids so this is the family room uh, so this is a king size bed for the parents one wardrobe is also there sitting area is also there and uh, for kids there is one uh, bunk bed is also allocated in the room for kids there is a bunk bed and washroom so the deck is whole under water yeah e e deck and e uh, d deck is whole under water same couple room hai jo apne c deck pe dekha tha sirf yahan pe uh, windows nahi hai so सेम किंग साइज बेड अटैच वॉशरूम ओनली द डिफरेंस इज एरिया इज बिग एरिया इज बिग या विदाउट विंडो दिस विल ऑल्सो कॉस्ट यू अराउंड टेन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एप्रोक्स पर पर्सन Uh, so now we are on a B deck. Three types of category, actually four types of category. Bunk room category is there, dormitory category is there, twin beds category is there, and twin bed with window category is there. So basically on a B deck, uh, the rooms which are having uh, dormitories and uh, twin beds uh, and bunk beds uh, are having common washrooms. So the common washroom is for ladies, gents is there. Uh, this side there is a petara shop is there like a uh, small shop is there uh, the things related to oceans and uh, shopping related things are you can you can find over there we are also having photographers like if koi guest ko photo shoot karana ho ship wagera pe then we are also having photographers that edit their photo uh, by itself and provide you This is the another category, which uh, I am showing you. It is the bunk room category with medium size window. Like the room is having four beds and uh, medium size window, but uh, not attached washroom. For this room, you have uh, there is a common washroom in alleyways. Uh, so this is the dormitory category. If you are coming with your group, 
a group of 15 to 16 people so uh, you can book this room like this uh, this room is common this room is also having common washroom capacity of this room is 18 so we are having uh, five room like this uh, the another category is twin bed like uh, in one room there will be a two beds but without window This is the body room category, same, uh, the room is having uh, single beds, two single beds but, uh, with washroom and uh, medium sized windows. Uh, so now we are going to the Ankora restaurant, Ankora restaurant is a coffee shop which is open 24-7. Uh, and the reason behind the name Ankara is the anchor. Uh, uh, let me show you the anchor, sir. So this is the spare anchor, sir, which we are having uh, on the ship. So uh, the weight of the anchor is 7,000 kg, which is uh, 7,000 tons. And this is the original one, sir. Uh, and uh, one more speciality is that in this restaurant is the uh, wallpaper. Which you wallpaper picture देख रहे हो, Goa के जितने भी beaches हैं sir, वो beaches के sands को मिला के एक wallpaper create किया है. So ये जो patterns दिख रहे हैं आपको Goa के जितने भी beaches हैं, उनके उनके एक-एक patterns को लेके ये wallpaper create किया है. So there are two uh, special things which is having in this restaurant. The capacity of the restaurant is 80 to 85. This is uh, a coffee shop which is open 24 7. So now we are on an A deck. So the speciality of the A deck is like uh, the name of the rooms are based on forts. Like you can see here. Uh, Sindhi Durga and Padma Durga, these both are forts. So, as I said, the rooms are in the same room, the name of the forts are based on forts. So, here are three categories, sir. A couple room with attached washroom and large window, family room, attached washroom with large window, and bunk beds, which are having common washrooms, sir. So, here is a family room, sir. I'll show you the family room with a large window. So this is the family room, sir. Uh, the bed, this bunk bed is for kids. Yeah, this is the large windows. Uh, and here is the king size bed for the adults, for the parents. There is also a hospital on the ship. We are also having one hospital if any emergency happens. Like if a passenger has a short leg or if a crew member has an incident with a crew member. So we are also having a hospital. So this is a small hospital with limited equipment. So uh, this is the owner cabins, the cabin where owner stays. Uh, the room of the the name of the room is uh, Sarkhil, Sarkhil Admiral Sarkhil. See in the couple room with attached washroom, large window.
This is the first domestic cruise liner owned and run by an Indian. Uh, so it's it's kind of a historic uh, uh, project. Um, this um, we started this project as uh, as it was a dream uh, for Cap of Captain Nitin Dhone. We have got a good response for this project. As you can see, we are uh, doing this run every day from Mumbai to Goa and back from Goa to Mumbai. Start in uh, in the evenings at around five o'clock from Mumbai on Mondays usually, and we reach Goa at uh, around eight to nine o'clock in the morning. So, and again, then we uh, uh, we leave the passengers and then we catch a new set of passengers which uh, who board the vessel and. Uh, we start the uh, voyage from Goa to Mumbai in the evening from Goa on a, on a Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday from uh, at around 4 or 5 o'clock in the evening and uh, we reach Mumbai again in the morning at around 8 9 o'clock. Uh, as you can see this is the wheelhouse of the, uh, this is the nerve center of the ship from where we run all the uh, operations and uh, we have got uh, officers manning the wheelhouse 24 hours. Uh, we have uh, right now we have the chief officer on the uh, on the controls. We have got a, a quartermaster who is uh, doing the steering, and then we also have a trainee uh, cadet. Uh, so we have to keep uh, watch on uh, our at uh, when the vessel is uh, sailing or at sea, and uh, 24 hours the uh, operations are uh, the this place the bridge is being manned by uh, officers who are on rotational duty. So this is the uh, this is the uh, steering from where we steer the ship basically, and uh, this is the gyro compass repeater uh, from where we can know the heading of the ship. Uh, and as you can see right now, the heading is three to six degrees, that is uh, almost uh, northwest. And uh, uh, right now, the ship is on autopilot. And uh, during the uh, if there is any heavy traffic or when we are departing port or arriving port then usually our quartermaster takes over and does manual steering. So that then we can, con uh, when we can change the controls to manual hand steering and then uh, he, he does as per the orders given by the duty officer or the uh, captain. So this is from where we steer the ship. Then here we have got something called a uh, electronic uh, chart system from where we have got uh, charts from all over the world. Right now we have subscribed for the charts from from Mumbai to Goa and uh, we have laid down the route which we are following every day. Uh, so this is the route, this is Mumbai and this is Goa and we are, uh, we are following this, this track which we have plotted and we will be following this track along the coast of Maharashtra. So we are using this for, uh, for the navigation purpose. So right now our, uh, we are uh, moving from Goa to Mumbai so we started from here and right now uh, we are at this location, so like if you can zoom in. Then we have got two radars which are being manned continuously by, um, by the duty officers and uh, we have got two different radars from where we can see the traffic and uh, the duty officers can reach of 13,500 horsepower. So totally we have got 27,000 horsepower running the engine. So we can actually go at more than 25 knots if we want to but right now we are going at a reduced speed so that the passengers can enjoy the journey otherwise we will reach in 78 hours. So since we have got various programs during the run we have got a live band which operates from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock in the night then we have got a discotheque which operates throughout the night thus we have got a uh, few bars and restaurants. So for the passengers to enjoy the journey we have prolonged it to or around 15 hours. So we are, these are the two engines from where we can uh, increase or decrease the speed or stop or go astern or whatever and these are all the parameters and the uh, alarms and we have uh, this ship also has got uh, two thrusters which which run in the outward ship's direction so the ship can move sideways so there is one bow, uh, one at the bow and one at the stern so these this is from where we operate the thrusters so they, these are only can be used at reduced speed at around 4 knots so we only use them during uh, arrival port and departure port okay. while coming out and so when, when we have to do very sharp movements. Mm -hmm. Once we come out then the movements are very, uh, I mean then we are going at full speed so that time these thrusters are ineffective. Then this ship also has got uh, two stabilizer fins at the bottom 
which uh, can be uh, which are hydraulically operated okay and they are used to uh, in case the sh uh, we have got uh, little rough weather and the ship starts rolling okay then to dampen the roll we we use these uh, stabilizer fins so they are fins. yeah stabilizer fins so this ship originally uh, was named ogasa maru ogasa maru and it was uh, it was running in japan in the islands of to uh, of osaka and tokyo and uh, we we bought this in uh, jan 2017 and then we took about uh, uh, it took about an year of very hard work and determination to convert this vessel into what you can see it right now so originally it was it was a totally different vessel it was it had a uh, it had a cargo space and it had also passenger area and it was used for shorter runs in the between the islands in japan and this has been converted into this what you can see now as a luxury luxury cruise, cruise liner shorter runs and there were uh, there were more than 1000 passengers and it was uh, uh, there was also a cargo area so it was a it was a multi uh, utility vessel but right now it has been converted completely into a luxury cruise liner we have a roughly around 80% uh, occupancy usually we 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 uh, on uh, on an average on an average we do about 80 percent of it we have got the entire staff uh, of this vessel is around 100 overall uh, capacity of this vessel is about 466 so we so can carry uh, about uh, 360 passengers easily see uh, the easy main challenge that we uh, face while navigating on this route is there there is a lot of fishing traffic uh, the, a lot of fishing vessels are always moving around the ship and uh, we have to navigate our way through them and we also have to keep clear of their fishing nets so that we don't damage their nets and since we are coasting we are running we are uh, we are almost less than 5 miles off the coast that's all that's all so 5 miles off the coast so you can see that in the night we, there will be a lot of fishing boats around and we will be navigating through them so we have to be careful that we don't damage their nets at the same time we don't uh, uh, you know get into some sort of a situation with the, the you see the it is continuously scanning the horizon over here yeah, yeah. so whatever is around the ship it is continuously scanning and you can see the, these these two like this one this is the, the that boat you can see over there oh, yeah. oh, mm -hmm. this boat small boat there oh, is a small yeah, boat oh, in the small sea boat is coming. Yeah, yeah? yeah so this is that boat then there is there are another two more boats so this is how in the night you will see this entire place is covered with boats oh. and we have to navigate through them the naked it's very difficult difficult then, you see look at them they are continuously watching and with uh, binoculars yeah. you have got binoculars and you have got people continuously scanning the horizon mm. despite this technology so this is these are the radars which are also continuously scanning the horizon and here you will see the antennas the radar scanners. This place is called a Monkey Island, the highest point on the ship. Monkey? Monkey Island. Voyage Data Recorder, the VDR. My name is Dayanand Shringare. I am the chief engineer. This is the, the engine control room of uh, Angria. 
so from here we do the starting of the engines and then all the parameters monitoring and all that thing is been this is the heart of the ship actually so all operating parameters are visible on the uh, screen here and accordingly we monitor it regularly so these are two engines there is the port engine and this is the starboard engine uh, each engine is uh, around uh, 13500 horsepower so total it is having a capacity of 27000 horsepower uh, we cover up the distance from uh, mumbai to goa in uh, around uh, 16 hours so at a speed of around 16 knots so this ship is equipped with engine which is capable of giving around 24 knot speed 24 to 25 knot speed uh, and there are three generators here uh, these are 1000 kV generators uh, we are uh, totally like uh, 10 people in engine room so there are three shifts 24 hours man so it is done in three shifts